Hey Taurus, it's Goddess Puff, and we're about to find out what they don't want you to know. All right, we're jumping straight into it with the tarot for Taurus. Spirit, what does a Taurus person want them to know, Spirit? And final shuffle, what does a Taurus person want them to know? All right, one, two, three. That was a weird shuffle, but we're going with it. All right. Yo, weird stuff be happening when I'm doing readings. Why did I feel like a hand just reached up to hand me a card? Or they tried to grab the card. I, I can't. I can't. Or, overall energy is the five of cups. There's clearly some disappointment here. Oh my gosh, my guinea pigs are fighting. Stop. Raven and brownie. Cut it out. They was fine. I'm telling y'all, they was fine all day and they started it now. First card, King of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we got the Eight of Pentacles. So this person, Taurus, is working hard to get to you. They are very disappointed and ashamed of a past situation with you. I don't know if they, I feel like they did something. And now they're working hard on themselves and they're trying to work hard on getting you back because they see you as their Ten of Pentacles. I feel like also this person is really working towards, they're really trying to build their finances. I feel like for some of you, this person could have been a workaholic and they regret letting that ruin their relationship or letting the relationship go to waste here. It's something that they regret and they're working really hard to on their finances as a way to fix it it's like they're working really hard on themselves and their finances let me clarify this and see it's something about this person's finances that they're gonna they're trying to use it to save the situation i feel like this person could have been a workaholic or they didn't do enough in the past and now they regret it like they didn't give to this situation enough yeah with the four swords here yeah this you guys are definitely in separation this person regrets something clarifying the king of wands is the king of pentacles yeah this person was obsessed with finances seven of um cups this person had a lot of like for some of you, this person could have had a lot of options, but I'm really not feeling that. I'm feeling like this person just had a lot of, they could have had multiple jobs, but this person was just in multiple outlets, multiple options. They chose work over family and they regret it. Clarifying the eight of pentacles is the three of wands. Their money is coming in. I mean, their opportunities are coming in and they're just holding, they're saving their money. They're working hard and saving up clarifying the ten of pentacles is the eight of cups yeah they they regret it they're ashamed that they chose money over family and with the wheel of fortune okay overall energy four swords i feel like i'm getting one main storyline so it's not gonna be for everybody this person either worked so much that it ruined the relationship or they chose to go off towards a job or a business instead of being in this relationship it's something about this person chose money and wealth over being a in a happy family, not knowing that you could have both. You don't have to have one or the other. Like this person feels really, and then the five, the four of cups is here. Like this person's very disappointed that they ignored this. It's like this person had all these other options in their face, so they wanted to explore all of them, and they lost the best one. This person, I mean, look at it. The Four of Swords and the Five of Cups. This person is, like, so sad, so miserable without you. Like I said, they're working hard, and their ships are coming in, but they're just saving it. It's something, some attachment to money they have. It's something about, it's, I, ugh, if I could get my words together. It's clearly something about their upbringing. That's why this card didn't fit. I kept trying to make it fit. It's in the wrong deck. It's something about 
their upbringing. They feel like they got to save everything or be surrounded by money. Like, look, this king of pentacles, all that gold and fur on him. And then the seven of cups. They got an emotional attachment to money. It's uh, kind of like a, a borderline addiction in a way. I mean, it's not going to be that extreme for everyone. I mean, their ships, their money comes in and they save it. They have so much of it, though. I mean, there's nothing wrong with saving it, but it's like this person, they want to just see it. They want to be around it, so they save it. They want to see it grow. They like looking at their bank account and seeing the number. It's some obsession with money that drove you away, and they regret it. And what they don't want you to know is that they regret it. They hope you come back, honestly. This person's working really hard to try to get you back. Uh, maybe they feel like if they save up all this money and give it to you, you'll take them back. Uh, this person regrets losing you. They're going to reach out to you and they're going to try to offer you money. They're, yeah, they're going to try to offer you some money. They want you back. Like, if this story is resonating, if you're dealing with someone who has a strong attachment to money or they just have a lot of it, this person really regrets choosing wealth over this situation, over nurturing this situation. And they're hoping you come back and they're hoping to save up this money to give to you in hopes that you'll come back. I feel like for some of you, this person could have been stingy with their money and withheld, didn't want to like provide in this situation. But the main storyline I'm getting is, I don't, I don't want to keep being repetitive, so I'm gonna just end it here. What they don't want you to know is that they regret choosing money over you. All right, Taurus, that is your reading. If it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a share, and I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.